Antarctica. It is the world's coldest continent. Scattered among the ice in this harsh and unforgiving environment are numerous research stations. One of these is the Neumeyer 3 station. Situated on the Ekstrom ice shelf and operated by the Alfred Wegener Institute, which coordinates German polar research efforts. Nearby Neumeyer 3 is a small greenhouse, the German Aerospace Center's Eden ISS, which is working on developing innovations for cultivating food using closed loop systems. In a space about the size of an apartment bedroom, this greenhouse recently grew more than 600 pounds of fresh food, including cucumbers, lettuce, and tomatoes, in a nine and a half month period, even with outside temperatures well below freezing. The researchers took scientific samples from their crops, but they ate the vast majority of what they grew in a powerful demonstration of the benefits of closed loop agriculture. This research not only benefits indoor agriculture here on Earth, it also has applications for space exploration. For more than 20 years, people have continuously occupied the International Space Station, a laboratory about the size of a six-bedroom house that orbits the Earth every 90 minutes at an average altitude of approximately 250 miles. Astronauts working with researchers on the ground have used the space station as a proving ground for the technologies and know-how that will allow people to explore more of the moon than ever before and take the next step in space exploration, a crewed mission to Mars. Jess Buncheck is a plant scientist from Kennedy Space Center, NASA's leading center for growing plants in space. The agency is sending her to work with the German Aerospace Center on research that could one day help feed crews on long-duration missions to the Moon and Mars. Buncheck brings important experience to Eden ISS. Knowledge gained from working with astronauts growing salad crops in space. After a month-long voyage from Germany, Buncheck will spend about a year in Antarctica. There, she will work with a team of researchers connected to the Mission Control Center in Bremen, Germany, to solve challenges with closed-loop agriculture so that it can be robust and productive enough to help sustain astronauts on a two- to three-year-long mission to Mars.